This is vlog four. Um, it is called Clean House. So we, um, just to go ahead and start, no parent finds it wise to reward their children for their bad behavior. So we see through the book of Jeremiah that God is also not going to reward his children for bad behavior, but rather he is disappointed in them and he is going to um, release judgment. Um, and we hear this through the prophet Jeremiah. Um, Dr. Gary Yates speaks about the courage it takes for a prophet to speak the words of God to the nations, especially the difficult ones that inflicts judgment. Jeremiah was overwhelmed by the challenging words God gave him to deliver. Um, yet we see in Jeremiah 29 that he could not run away from the call. He couldn't stop. He couldn't contain it. He must go on with the call. Jeremiah 29 says, 20 verse 9, if I say I will not mention him or speak any more in his name, there is in my heart, as it were, a burning fire shut up in my bones, and I am weary with holding it in, and I cannot. So Jeremiah spoke to the nations about sinful behavior, about judgment, and even about future hope. Um, the Bible Project helps us see that. So one sermon that um, we're looking at is the one that we call Temple Sermon. It is from Jeremiah chapter 7, verse 1, all the way to Jeremiah chapter 8, verse 3. Um, and basically, Jeremiah has addressed it, the Israelites' um, transgressions and iniquities, which the church can learn from today. So the main points um, that we see is that um, God is calling out that they have not kept their commandment and that they are defiling his house, his temple, comparing it to a den of robbers um, we see in Jeremiah 7, 11. So the theme is unpacked um, with a bunch of accusations, which are accusing and charging Israel of their idolatry and their unrepentant hearts. We see that in Jeremiah 7, 24. But in Jeremiah 7, 9, these are some of the sins that they're accusing. Will you still murder commit adultery, swear falsely, make offerings to Baal, and go after other gods that you have not known. So Jeremiah's message is basically a rebuke for all those things that they are doing that are unholy in the house of God. And in the eyes, of, in the sight of God, they are just, God is not going to um, bless his children if they are not keeping their word. So we, um, as Christians today, we can learn that we either follow his ways or we can turn from him. Um, apostolic, apostolic Faith Church advises us, let's learn from the defiance of Judah and do as God commands. So um, we see a good relationship with God in Jeremiah 7, verse 5 through, six, 5 through 7. For if you truly amend your ways and your deeds, and if you truly execute justice one with another, then I will let you dwell in this place, in the land that I gave the old of your fathers forever. So to conclude, um, if we don't keep the way of the Lord as Christians today with the help of the Holy Spirit, if we don't um, keep the commandments and stay into his will the best that we can and continue to repent, because that's really what God loves. Um, his word says that a guilty and contrite spirit he does not despise. So um, God doesn't want us to be breaking commitments or even supporting things that do. Um, but rather he wants us to practice holiness and um, so we don't miss out on his heavenly blessings.